If you're someone who wonders whether science can actually be fun, our next story might just convince you. We spend some time with Carmelo, the science fellow. Take a look. And they're like, you have weird hair! But <laughs> Carmelo Piazza is serious about science. He's also serious about making kids laugh and laugh some more. I can make any group of kids laugh and do the laughter. I'm instilling a love of learning. It's all about making a kid feel comfortable, feel safe, and laugh. They're only two, three, and four one time, you know? So why not make school fun? Carmelo, known as Carmelo the Science Fellow, started as a science teacher, then opened his own center for science-based camps and programs. Next came the dream job, starting a preschool. We visited the Brooklyn Preschool of Science, the first of his two locations. On the syllabus that day, mealworms, including one crawling up Carmelo's shirt. Everybody say, hello, mealworm. Hello, mealworm. Little scientists in training. And I put on my hand and I was rolling. I use my flying glass. The humble mealworm shouldn't be underestimated. To hear Carmelo tell it, this is an interdisciplinary learning opportunity. I'm able to talk about what are the needs of living things. I'm able to add math connections by giving kids Unifix cubes and asking them to measure the length of their mealworm. We're able to take construction paper with pipe cleaners and make pipe cleaner headband antennas. Now the kids are pretending to be the bug. They're pretending to have antennas, but most importantly, they're learning about the function of their mealworm and its antennas. So just with this one mealworm, I'm able to connect the math and the art to the science. Animals live throughout the classroom, part of Carmelo's mission to make children think and care about all creatures. It's also a way to build a comfort level with animals that can be harder to develop as an adult. If you do not give kids an opportunity to see animals when they're younger, they wind up becoming the adults that shy away. And if you show them at the age of two, three, and four, and you lay the foundation that animals are fun, they will touch, they will hold, they will feel. Carmelo now has a book of at-home experiments parents and kids can do with simple household supplies. He is crazy for science, but believe it or not, he didn't start out that way as a child himself. Yeah, as a kid, I absolutely did not like science because every teacher that I ever had just never did science. If, if you did have science, it was through reading of nonfiction textbooks. Carmelo says it wasn't until college when he discovered the power of hands-on science learning. Now he's passionate about bringing that to even the youngest students. If you motivate young kids in science, you're encouraging them to be critical thinkers, analytical thinkers. Most importantly, you're, you're encouraging kids to make mistakes. Science is all about trial and error. This is the beauty of science, is like make mistakes, great. Make predictions, beautiful. Become these amazing inquisitive type of thinkers. And this is what I'm hoping that my kids, when they leave my school, is what they take away. Everybody say, we are the scientists. We are the scientists. Everybody say, we make decisions. We